guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are already part of the family thank you so much for being here once again today for those of you who are new welcome my name is Kira Selena I'm a licensed practical nurse and on my channel I mainly talk nursing and health but we also do a bit of beauty vlogging and lifestyle so if you're into any of those things feel free to join the family by banging on that nice big red subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your notification bell that way you'll be notified whenever I post future content also I know some of you guys are you know probably a little unfamiliar with the new setting this this is my new apartment i have not done an apartment tour video yet it is coming soon i'm just trying to get my house in order but i did do a video exp um a come shopping with me video so if you guys want to see uh, if you guys want to come shopping with me for my apartment and see little snippets of it then go check that video out it was mentioned in the title of the video today i will be sharing with you guys some of my favorite over-the-counter products that you can get today to help you cure your bacterial vaginosis or your yeast infections so something happened either you used a new soap either you use a new type of condom some type of change happened and you start noticing a difference in your lady parts either you start feeling some type of itching some type of irritation um either the area starts to swell or maybe you're smelling some type of odor a very strong odor maybe it's fishy i don't know but something's off so what do you do now there are remedies that you can try and i always always say that personally in my opinion it is better to try remedies first some people will say hey remedies will throw you off go get antibiotics but one thing i want you guys to understand about antibiotics is that in our bodies we have good and bad bacteria and the good bacteria belongs in our body that is your immune system that is your body's defense system that is your body's army right so whenever something some type of foreign bacteria enters your body that good bacteria that is supposed to be in your body that bacteria's responsibility is to fight off the bad ones however antibiotics don't know the difference between good and bad bacteria and so it'll attack all bacteria so yes i've had some people comment saying don't try remedies they have thrown me off get antibiotics it helped me out and my bv was gone in three days and that's fantastic and it, it really can go like that most times it will however sometimes like i mentioned the antibiotics don't know the difference between the good and bad bacteria and if it gets rid of too much bad bacteria it can adversely cause a yeast infection so yes antibiotics are good yes they will help you and you will most likely see fast results with antibiotics but I don't want you guys to think that just because the doctor is prescribing these antibiotics that there are no side effects or adverse effects that you can get with these antibiotics. And this is why I always say that it's best to try remedies first and then maybe try supplements first um supplements after the remedies but it also depends on how far how long this has been going on if this is something that's been going on for three weeks now you should probably go see your doctor if it's something that is just starting and it's only been maybe one two or a couple days um no more than a week a week and a half max there are still some things that you can try out before running to the doctor and getting antibiotics and some people can't go to the doctor right now especially because of the whole covid situation so what can you do the first product that I like, and this one, they have it for BV, but they also have it for yeast infections. And it's basically this Kness Balance Gel. This is also made by Caniston. So Caniston has a whole bunch of products for BV and, and yeast infections. They have um, anti-itch creams. They have um, antibiotic creams, topical creams. They have um, gels that you can put. They have, um, they have, oh my God, what is it called? Suppositories. They have all types of products that you can use for either BV or yeast infections. But this one I like to use um, whenever I start feeling like I'm being a little bit thrown off. And yes, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I don't get thrown off because I'm the nurse. I'm a human, just like all of you. And you know, lady parts, our lady parts are very, very sensitive and it can get thrown, it can get thrown off fairly easy. So I like to have these things around in my house just so that if I start feeling one little symptom, I can start fighting it right away before it gets too far they have these it comes in a box like this i'm going to leave it somewhere up here so that you guys can see and inside there are seven tubes now in this tube is a gel and at the top you have this kind of cap 
And all you have to do is untwist the cap and insert this part into the vagina and squeeze the gel in. In the box, there's usually seven of these and you just have to insert one a night. So every night for seven nights, you will insert it, you will squeeze the gel out, insert it as far as you can, as far as it will comfortably go. Don't try to force the whole tube up there, just as far as it will comfortably go. Um, just about to the neck of the tube and then just squeeze it out and then go to sleep. Do that for seven days and your BV and your yeast infection, your BV or your yeast infection should be gone. There's one for each one, so make sure you're getting the right one. Determine, uh, make sure you're getting the right one based on which problem it is that you have. Damn, I can't talk so, today. This one does work really well. However, it is very chemically and I'm not really all about the chemicals and stuff like that but it does work it is effective so you know if it's really unbearable if you're itching like crazy to the point where you can't go to work because you just can't keep your hands out of your pants and stop yourself from scratching just get it try it out um you should definitely see a difference within like two or three days the next thing i get um i have mine in in a little ziploc bag and i took off the um <laughs> i took off the sticker just because it ain't nobody business, you know? People don't need to be going to my bathroom and knowing all my little secrets and stuff, you know what I'm saying? But I'm sharing it with you guys because you guys are the fam and because because I'm your favorite nurse, so hey. <laughs> but I keep mine in this. This is called Probolac. I will leave the picture of the box somewhere up here. And this is a suppository. So it basically comes with 14 capsules because it's a 14 day treatment. Um, mine is still pretty full because I haven't used it yet, but um, it comes with little capsules like this and it also comes with an applicator like this. In the applicator, all you have to do is pull down. It's pretty much the same concept as a tampon. So you would pull this down and you would take the capsule and insert it into the applicator. And then you're going to insert the applicator as far up as you can, as far as it will comfortably go. If you're starting to feel discomfort or pain, you're far enough, stop. Pull back a little bit, stop, okay? And then you're just going to push the little bottom part up and it will push the suppository out. And all you have to do is leave it in there. Um, the reason why this is really good is because it's filled with that good bacteria I was talking to you guys about. So there is a bacteria called um, Lactobacillus acidophilus, which is really good for, you know, not only gut flora, but also just vaginal health. It's just one of those good bacteria. So by doing this, you're basically giving your body um, an army. You're giving your body more recruits so that it has a bigger army so that it can fight off the bad bacteria. And you will notice that when you use this, this suppository, you will become a a lot wetter than usual because this will dissolve and you will have some discharge coming out so i will strongly recommend that if you're going to use this especially in the morning before you go to work put a panty liner on because your underwear might be soaked um because once again it dissolves and you will have um some discharge coming out so make sure you do that but this is really really good this probolac i highly recommend it and um yeah if your symptoms aren't too too crazy i would definitely say to start with the probiotics before you go with the kinestine or anything that's too too chemical. Thing I absolutely love are the probiotics that you can take by mouth and this is by Nature's Bounty. I think I got this for about $12 in the pharmacy. The Probolac I got for the suppositories I just spoke to you guys about. I got it for about $20 in the pharmacy and the Kinest Balance I think I got it on sale for like $11.99. So these are products that are generally um, relatively cheap but this is the extra strength um, Lactobacillus acidophilus, once again, the same um, bacteria that I was talking to you guys about. It says it provides live mi microorganisms that temporarily modify your gut flora. Um, so yes, it is good for gut flora, but you're still giving your body those good bacteria. So it's still going to pretty much just help with the whole body. So this they say to take once daily. Um, I take it once daily until the BV or until the symptoms have completely subsided. And once they're gone, I stop. And then I take them once every other day. So I might take them every three days or you know every two days sometimes even every four days, but I don't take them every single day if I have no symptoms, right? I'm a young girl, I'm relatively healthy. I don't really need to take this for my gut flora, to be honest, I don't really feel like my gut is that unhealthy. Honestly, if you're eating enough fruits and veggies and stuff like that, your gut flora should be good. But this is really good for BV or yeast infections, in my opinion. Um, sometimes I even use the probiotics by mouth. I'll take one tablet and I'll also insert the vaginal um, probiotic supply 
One thing I want to tell you guys, okay? Come here, because I really need to have a serious talk with you. Don't put the by mouth vi vitamin in your vagina and don't put the vaginal suppository in your mouth, <laughs> okay? A lot of people think that it's the same thing, but there's a reason why one is a suppository and one is to be taken by mouth. So even though they contain the same bacteria and even though they look alike, don't put the by mouth one in your vagina and don't put the, vagin the vaginal one in your mouth. And I know to some of you guys, it might seem like it's a stupid statement, but trust me, you'll be surprised what people out here will do, okay? So this is what it looks like. Um, the, the suppository comes in like a capsule. Um, if you are a nursing student or whatever, you know that sometimes people are on like a period diet or on a crush diet and you will open a capsule and empty the powder that is inside it. So that one is kind of the same concept. It's in a plastic capsule. You can actually remove the capsule um, or open the capsule to see what it looks like on the inside if you care that much. Um, I don't think you should. I don't really think it's <laughs> that deep. But that one comes in more of a plasticky type of capsule. And this one is more like a dry type of chalky um, consistency. You guys can see it on my fingers. So yeah, once a day until your symptoms have gone away. And then you can take them once every day. One thing other. that I don't have on me right now is the Kenistine Anti-Itch Cream. Um, a lot of people tell me that, you know, they have yeast infections and that they are itching like crazy. And trust me, I know the feeling, sis. I feel for you. I know exactly how it is that you feel. So if the itching is a little bit too unbearable, you can get the anti-itch cream. I don't have that on me, um, but I will leave a picture of it up here. All you have to do is apply it topically and it will temporarily um, you know, help you with the itching until you can get rid of what it is that's actually going on on the inside, right? So you can use the probiotic and still use the anti-itch cream on top. You can use the, you can use all of these products and still use the anti-itch cream it's just gonna help you with the itching so that you're not going crazy and so that you don't pull out your hair while you're at work or the grocery store because you know you're going crazy <laughs> guys i know today's video was a short one but i still hope you enjoyed it that is it for today so those are my three favorite over-the-counter products for bacterial vaginosis and yeast infections if you guys have any other products that you guys want to share that have worked for you in your experience please feel free to leave the information down below. I'm so sure that there are millions of girls out there who can use this information to their advantage. So share the knowledge. And if you're not yet part of the family and you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on. That way you'll be notified when I post future... Woo! That way you'll be notified when I post future content. And as usual, please like and share. It helps the girl out a lot with the algorithm. It just lets people know that you guys like the video and it lets people know that the video is valuable. So like, like, like right now, leave a comment down below. Even if it's a short comment, it doesn't matter. It helps me out a lot. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye.